What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here and today we're back at the capsule to talk to you about three loosely cereal themed products. We've got a cereal. It's the Jazzberry Crayola cereal from Kellogg's. Another Kellogg's product is Pop-Tarts Lemon Groove Pink Lemonade and last but certainly not least Duncan Hines Post Fruity Pebbles Epic Cake Kit Mix. Quite a main event we have here yeah. as we close out the capsule for this filming session. Let's. It's hard to compare. There's it's going to be things. easy to compare because we're okay. pros, Ryan. Right? Yeah, we right. know what we're doing. But I would like to start with the Crayola cereal. Cool. So let's take a look. All right, this is the Crayola Kellogg cereal. It is called Jazzberry. I guess that that is a raspberry, blueberry, strawberry combo flavor, mm. which is interesting. Certainly the colors in the cereal seem to indicate that there's a lot of different loosely fruit oriented <laughs> inspiration. I've already milked it, so I'm going to go ahead and try it, but I've already tried it right out of the box and Ryan, you have as well. It's a, it's a very distinctive flavor. Like it's a, it's fruity. It's very bright. Mm -hmm. But it's not like really many other fruity cereals. It's almost got a grapiness to it. Mm -hmm. It's mm. good. It's like a l lightly grape. Mm. Out of the bowl. You know those little speckles that are on there? Mm -hmm. They turn really, really crunchy. And as the cereal itself softens, it really gives those things a, a chance to shine. Chub Crayola. Mm. Or Kellogg's. Someone tells me Kellogg's had a handle in uh, <laughs> creating their cereal right. and Crayola no, probably, the wax people maybe the color. <laughs> I mean, look, is this the kind of cereal you can eat every day? Definitely not. It's taxing, but <laughs> for what it is, they have really, really accomplished that mission. I think texturally, this is one of the better new cereals of the year because as that cereal softens, the outside it's like delicious, crunchy little, almost candy bits. Mm. And it's tasty. It really works out well, well, well. A lot of that uh, intense fruitiness does get subdued when you pour the milk on it. And, you know, I think in the interest of not draining your taste buds first thing in the morning, that's, that's probably a good thing. It definitely in cereal is much better. Mm. I mean, wait, in cereal, in milk is much better. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they're both still cereal. It's all about the box. I mean, that's that's the main event here. I mean, when you're talking about Crayola, look at the front of that. It is really cool. And then of course, as you'd imagine, the back of the box is gonna feature a cast of their Crayola characters and then a, a nice. box you can color. $3.99 at United Supermarket, which is owned by Albertsons in Amarillo. And uh, yeah, I would recommend picking it up. Kind of cool. Definitely a pleasant surprise to start things out today. Next is going to be the Pink Lemonade Pop-Tarts. Next up, it's the Lemon Groove Pop-Tarts Pink Lemonade Flavored. Boy, did you ever think you'd try Pink Lemonade Pop-Tarts, Ryan? I mean, I've had that is some a, weird Pop-Tarts. You've had some weird Pop-Tarts, and so maybe you would have expected it, but I think most folks wouldn't. Uh, $1.99 at United Supermarket in Amarillo. Just a nice little eight pack. I love it when that happens. You know, don't have to have all 12 or 16 of them. And uh, these are interesting. Definitely something I am looking forward to trying. Ryan, why don't you go in and grab your keep there? Weep. Perfect. All right. Does not smell like anything. Mm -mm. Lemony. Yeah. I don't know if it's pink lemonade -y, though. I mean, pink lemonade is like strawberry lemonade. Yeah. I'm not complaining about it being low on the strawberry spectrum, but... It's yeah. just so Pop-Tart bready. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it tastes much more like a Pop-Tart than it does like lemonade. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's almost like a... I like it, but it's sweet and not sour, yeah. which is weird. Yeah. It's more jammy. Mm-hmm. It's pretty jammy. Nothing like what I expected at all. It's like a light, a light lemon meringue Pop-Tart. Yes. Is really more what it tastes like, which is still cool. 
and still still good, but not pink. Le pink lemonade is its own flavor. And I don't think that they captured it here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how manageable it was to think that they could capture it in a Pop-Tart, but they didn't. But it's all about the cake. So it's let's get bad. into that Fruity Pebble Duncan Hines cake. Mm. And next up, it is the as advertised epic Duncan Hines <laughs> Fruity Pebbles cake kit. And man, oh man, it is in fact very epic. Take a look at this thing. It is a beast. Man, it is thick. I mean, it's got an it entire, yeah, it is very, very heavy. It, it is a dual layered cake that is kind of speckled on the inside. I don't know if it's really Fruity Pebble flavored cake, but it's definitely designed to look like Fruity Pebbles. Mm -hmm. And then it's got the full frosting layer in the middle, full frosting layer up top, and then a whole bunch of Fruity Pebbles all over the very, very tippy top of it. So it, it, I think it was supposed to be $4.99 at Walmart, but it was on an end cap that still said $2.99. So I took a picture of the $2.99, even though it very clearly it was supposed to be $4.99. So I saved $2. I basically created my own coupon. Uh, so this is about as hefty of a $3 snack as you can possibly have on this Seriously. earth. <laughs> All right, now it's finally time to fork this thing up. I'm ready. Ready for some of this Duncan Hines cake. Who is Duncan Hines? Is that a real person? I'm sure. Is Betty Crocker real? Mmm. <laughs> it's a great name. Mmm. Ooh, it does taste like Fruity Pebbles. Wow. Mmm. Wow, it really tastes like Fruity Pebbles. I mean, I know that they put a bunch of Fruity Pebbles on it. But it really tastes like it. Through and through. Mmm. Well, the amount that you like this is going to correspond with the amount that you like Fruity Pebbles because it really captures that flavor. The cake is very, very dense. It's almost more like a cupcake than it is like a cake cake. Mm, yeah. That is good. Mmm. And I, I think it is Fruity Pebbles, not like a confetti cake. Mm, I think it's an actual Fruity Pebble cake. Mmm. Yeah. Boy, I, you know, I just want to keep eating it. It's addictive. I, I don't like even how, really like cake that much. I like how it's lightly crunchy, like the whole mm -hmm. way through. Lightly crunchy. And also kind of buttery. Yeah. They did it right. They figured it out. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. You never know with something, you know, Fruity Pebbles oriented. It's like, I think it's going to make it generically taste kind of like, you know, weird sugar fruit. Mm -hmm. Or are they going to actually make it taste like Fruity Pebbles? These guys made it taste like Fruity Pebbles. Amazing job. Tastes great. It's a nice, dense, filling cake. This could be somebody's birthday cake and it's gonna it's gonna, gonna it's gonna be a showstopper oh, yeah. i mean can you even imagine like you show up to a birthday party and it's just a beautiful cake covered with fruity pebbles it tastes this good and this different from every other cake for 2.99 people <laughs> will remember for probably to eat now you know the secret right it's like that time we went and we did the pure still review and we mix matched all the six packs <laughs> There are Walmart hacks. DIY, uh, <laughs> but anyway, guys, I we got to get into the gimmick grade. We got a lot of strong gimmicks today. And because of that, the absolute floor that I'm setting is actually going to be the Lemon Groove Pink Lemonade. Not so much because the flavor isn't crazy and not so much because the design isn't crazy, but just because the other two are just so weird and great. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Whoa! I'm giving the Crayola cereal a 9.5 out of 10 for the colorable box. And I'm giving the Duncan Hines Fruity Pebbles Epic Cake Kit also a 9.5 out of 10. Nice. Some outstanding packaging, innovation, design. It's bold, it, yet it works. Great, great job from a gimmick perspective. One of the better reviews that we've had not just all year, but pretty much ever. I mean, this is three very memorable products that uh, deserve to be celebrated. Now, taste-wise, it wasn't all hits. I think we can both agree the Lemon Groove Pop-Tarts 
just, it was too much plain outer pastry taste. And then just a very faint lemon, almost aftertaste. You really, it wasn't even very forward in its taste. It's a tough flavor to nail, I admit. But I was hoping to get a little bit of sour taste or something, you know, something that was really going to wake up those taste buds. It wasn't there. Uh, And there was nothing distinctly pink pink lemonade about it. You could have just said lemonade and, I mean, it would have at least been a step more accurate. I mean, how bad can you mess up a Pop-Tart, right? So, I mean, let's give it a four and a half, third place on today's Capsule Countdown. Not, Not too awfully bad. I would say the expectation exceeding Jazzberry... Crayola cereal ended up getting second place here today. Out of the bowl, it was interesting, but very fatiguing, very sweet. When you added the milk, boy oh boy, it was very strong. I'm gonna I'm gonna predominantly grade based on the strength of the in-milk kind of counter textures of the increasingly softening cereal with the outer crunchy little coating bits that they put on it, and how it kind of subdued a little bit of the over overtly sweet nature of the cereal and i'm going to give it a seven out of ten second place on today's capsule countdown not a bad cereal first place and look maybe it wasn't fair i mean you can't beat home baked but duncan hines fruity pebbles epic cake kit it was pretty epic it was delicious i just wanted to keep eating it i like it a lot and ryan (laughs) i can tell you also like it a lot i know you ate all of your cake it just makes me like Fruity Pebbles more. I you know, agree. it's I like, the same it kind of gave me that Fruity Pebbles taste and I like it. Uh, the, the cake itself is very, very, very dense. So if you're looking for like a light, airy kind of cake, this one isn't for you. I like a nice dense cake. It feels more homemade. It does. Dense. It almost feels more like a cornbread texture, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. Like how when you... Get a piece of cornbread and you just plop it on a plate. Oh, yeah. How it like, it, that's it the epic. shakes the room. Yes. That's the epic That's the epic nature of the Fruity Pebbles cake kit. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. First hey. place on today's Capsule Countdown. Really great tasting and a tough flavor to nail that they did perfectly. So shout out to Duncan Hines on that. Make more cereal desserts. And we'll review more cereal desserts. How about that, Duncan? (laughs) All right, it's time to get into the fun part. It's the From the Archives product of the day. This time, while not directly relevant to anything that we've discussed today, but it's never going to be relevant to anything, so I ever want to show it to you, i got to wedge it in. It is a Taco Bell taco dinner kit where there are five... NASCAR racing car taco holders that you could collect one per box. I got one for, listen to this, Irwin Industrial Tools. <laughs> it's like a plastic stock car that separates. Then you can wedge your taco in it and it holds up your taco. There are five different drivers. Uh, I think that this one is... Last name is Bush, right? Kurt Bush? Um, Something like that, maybe? I don't know. Hard to tell. I don't know. I know Mark Martin is one of the racers. I remember him. He was the Valvoline guy back in the day. It looks like he's number six. He's That's number funny. six, but uh, man, it's, this is a very, very cool thing. I found this at an antique mall for five bucks, and I just couldn't possibly pass that up. Very cool gimmick. I love, I love the box design. It's just like... Very of its time, like that early 2000s box design. I, and I love these little cars. I'd kind of like to have all of them. I mean, <laughs> the Velveeta car is definitely the coolest one. And, you know, I get the least cool one because who wants industrial tools when there's Oscar Mayer and <laughs> Velveeta and stuff. But still, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. Five bucks. So, I. Uh, terms of next week, we have no clue what's next because we have nothing left. So... You're just going to have to take our word for it. It'll be a good one. Let's come back next Monday. Of course, until next time, I will miss you until I see you.